All right, so you can see I've logged into the netacab.com website. Um, I'm just at their home screen. Notice I've actually logged in. So I can go up to resources and I can say download packet tracer. And there's three different versions. There's actually some mobile versions and stuff too, but there's three different versions, one for the Mac. You want the 7.2.1. I like the 64-bit version. So I'm just going to click on it and download it. And that's how you get the actual packet tracer. All right, so the download has uh, finished downloading. I've gone ahead and extracted it. It was a zip file. I've extracted it. I'm going to say I accept the agreement, and I'm just going to go through the install process. Um, I'm just going to take all the defaults. Create a desktop, yes. Uh, install. So it just goes through the install. Very easy to do. Um, once this finishes installing, we'll go ahead and run it. All right. So that's finished doing the install. It says the little pop-up for this packet tracer skills-based assessment to be to use this version. Please close all web browsers or restart your computer. I don't want to do that part, so we're just going to say launch. Um, we don't need the skills-based assessment part. And now I just want to overview uh, a little bit about packet tracer. So it's going to open up a. Uh, uh, the Cisco login. So I'm just going to just uh, jump in and put my, what I think is my Cisco login. Let's see if this works. So let me finish this up. All right. Once you put in your username and password for your Netacad login, you're going to get a screen like this. Okay. This is the 7.2.1 version on the Windows box. And notice this is like a white canvas up here. And we haven't saved it or anything. I'm just going to add some computers. I'm just going to add a computer to it. So I've got different kinds. I've got a PC, a laptop, a server. I'm just going to add a PC to it and maybe a second PC so they can talk to each other. And I think I'm just going to add some a network device. I just want to grab a basic switch. So I'm just going to grab a little switch. Maybe this PT switch. Boom. Okay. Got a little switch. Very nice. And now I want to connect them together. So this is just real basic. I'm going to use this little uh, lightning bolt one because it just makes it automatic and automatic. I can see that they're all connected together. Okay. Okay. Now, this is the logical view. I can move these around logically. Okay. I can also rename them. So I can click on this and say this is uh, computer one. And that's just a label. I can say this is switch number one. It's just a label. And this can be computer two. Okay. I can go into the computer. And inside the computer, notice it's turned on. I can go into the desktop, click on the IP address, and I could set it to DHCP, which there isn't a DHCP server on this computer, but I could also give it an IP address. So I could say 192.168.1.2. Two, it gives the subnet mask automatically. Um, we don't really have a, a DNS server or a default gateway because there's no off the network, so we can just kind of leave it like that. And we can also and there's a web browser, there's a command prompt, um, really cool stuff you can use. Okay, and we can do the same thing down here to this PC number two. Go in, click on the IP address. And just type in 192.168.1.3, 192.168.1.1, just so that kind of keep it all the same. And that's all saved. Okay? So that's the logical view. Okay? If you can get to this part here, um, then, you're, then you know that you've got the logical view. Everything's green. It looks like it's working. Okay? Let's just talk just a second about the physical view. Okay? So if we click on the physical view, we have our city. Okay, our home city. And let's just call that home city uh, Gray, Georgia. Okay, Gray, Georgia. And if we go into that city, well, we can actually make more than one city. So let's see, how do we add a city? I think it's create a new city. I come over here, and on the other side of the road over here, this one will be called Macon, Georgia. Okay, so now I have two cities. Well, within this city, 
I have an office. And I could make another office. Let's just highlight over this and make sure it's another office. So I got two offices. And we'll call this office uh, Arts and Art and Science. That's the Art and Science building. And we'll call this the Business building. Okay, two different schools. Okay. And we can go into the building itself. And notice that we have the two computers. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on. Um, where's my zoom? It's up here. So I could see the whole building. Here's my two little tiny computers. Okay. Notice I put one computer in this room and another computer in this room. And I have this closet here. This working closet, if I click on it, there's my switch. Okay. Here's my switch. So I can go back out of the wiring closet. This is just a wiring closet. And I have my two computers. And everything looks great. That's how I would have my physical location set up. I could also um, just go back up here and take a look at my two buildings. I can have a wiring closet in arts and science and put computers and they can talk to each other back and forth through the physical buildings. It's pretty much how easy the physical layout is. Okay, go back to logical layout, and we just moved the computers around, but notice that they didn't get moved around on the logical layout. If I move this one way over here, go back to physical, going back into, oh, it wasn't, it was in arts and sciences, but go if I go back to um, arts and sciences, it didn't move, it stayed where it was. So going into the logical and making changes here does not change it in the physical view. Okay, that's an important concept to understand the difference between logical and physical. Okay, now I just want to save this, so I'll just click the little save button, name it how I want to name it, and then continue on working. So, so far, um, I've showed you where to get Packet Tracer, how to open Packet Tracer up, install it, and open it up, and how to add a couple of computers with a switch, and the difference between logical and physical drive. For the most part, that's what we're going to. I want everybody to be able to accomplish by uh, Wednesday night's class. Open it up, play with it a little bit, add some computers, start thinking about the actual project. And um, if you have questions, uh, please come to class at 6.30 on Wednesday to uh, get those questions answered. Oh, also make sure you subscribe to my channel. So when I add more videos out to my channel, you'll be able to uh, get notified.